Hey guys, let me get my camera set and I'll sit back down. Okay. We're back here with Everyday Art by Brittany Gunter and we're going to do some mixing. Now all of it won't fit on this video, so we're going to do as much as we can before the camera turns off. And then I'll continue the rest of the mixing afterwards. And then a following video will be another pour. So I'm using the new, I think it's Dela Rowney Simply Acrylic. I could be saying the name wrong, you guys. Um, so I've earlier today um, for a pour, I mixed up four of the blues and the white. And I'm going to mix up 11 more of the colors. Um, I'm not mixing up any of the browns except for this one. And I'm not mixing up the lightest pink or the uh, olive. But I'm going to mix everything else, and not the mixing white, but I'm going to mix everything else up. Um, and I already have some of the blues mixed. So we're just going to start with the yellow and work our way through. So far, from experience, um, from trying this earlier today, the ratio is one part paint, two parts flow trawl with a cap of water, a small cap. So we're going to continue that same ratio. And then I'm going to label each color at the end. So I'm just going to do them in order, stack them in order, label each color at the end. And I'm not measuring the paints, so it's just approximate. I just eyeball it. This is a medium yellow. I'm finding these colors to be really rich. They look really gorgeous. When I did the pour earlier with the blues and the white, um, the colors, I'll see how they dry, but as of right now, they look much more prominent than the apple barrels. Um, they almost look as clear and um, they have like the clarity of the GAC or the GAC, some people call it. Um, paints. Um, but these are much more affordable. This pack of 24 after tax was $10.47. They have a pack that has 36. They have a pack of 48. They even have a pack that's just the primary colors plus black and white. And it's only like 5 bucks. Um, so they're very affordable. They are small tubes, but if you'll notice... I didn't really use much at all and I've already got more in here than what's actually in this tube. <laughs> if I was to squirt the whole tube out, this would have more in it. Um, so they're going to last a decent bit and for the price you can't really beat the quality that I'm seeing so far. We'll see how they dry so that I can give a full on review, but so far that's my opinion. I think I need a little more water in this one. Um, I might have been short on the flow trawl. Or I'm not even going to do a full cap. I'm going to do like a third of a cap. Um, or this color just may have been a little thicker. Which can happen. I'm going to scrape the edges. Make sure that I got all the flow trawl and everything mixed in there. Good. use the same stick because this is going to be a shade of yellow as well. This is deep yellow. I'm 
definitely looks much darker. Um, almost has an orange tint to it. I'm just going to put them back in here and I'll sit on the border over there. It almost has an orange-ish tint to it. So we'll see. So one part paint. Two parts flow draw. Just barely cover the tip of the paint and that's how I know because I've put the paint on one side and there's two even pieces to the side. So if I barely cover up the paint, that's two full portions versus the paints, one portion. They mix relatively easy. The pigments seem to be pretty decent. Um, we'll see how they dry. We'll see how some of them do when I do different colors. Like the blues, I just did blues together with the white. Excuse Lagatha, she's in the next room playing with her chew toy. Um, the blue's and the white, so it didn't muddy up, but once we do the rest of these, we'll kind of see if it muddies up when you mix different colors. I'm hoping it doesn't. Full cap. I'm putting the lid back on my water instead of leaving it off, just because I don't want to accidentally knock it over. a much better consistency. Sit right behind that one. That lid took a little more cooperation. This is orange. Now the one that comes with 36 colors I believe has three different tints of orange and the one that comes with 48 colors I think it has five tints of orange. This one only has one orange. Eventually I want to get the others as well so that I can compare colors and have multiple shades. But for now this was a good cheap test paint. Um, it's a good quality test paint. I wanted to test it before I spend some money on it, you know. Let's finish. There we go. I am so glad that I am back in my art room. I'm not fully back. I haven't moved everything in and I've still got one whole side of the art room to work with, to work on. But I did get my table organized mostly. Um, most of my paints are organized except my apple barrel. I got all my larger bottles like my artist loft paints. Those are organized. I need a shelf. So hopefully Bill and I have time this weekend to build some shelves. I need one on top of the table at the back for my paints and I need one under the table that rolls to put my canvases on. And I want to make a drying rack because I've kind of just used some scraps I have over here to make one. So I do want to make a drying rack soon as well. Hopefully I'll have time one weekend coming up. Not this weekend. <laughs> this is the last weekend of deer season, so I'm not going to see Bill. He's actually in the stand right now hunting. Which normally makes for quiet videos, but of course Lagatha had different ideals. She had different plans. One seems just a tad, no, there we go, okay. Thought it was a tad thick, but it's a goop. Let me get this goop off my stick. Okay, and I'm putting the goops over to the side because once they dry, I can just peel them up off of this plastic and I don't have to really worry about it. 
Okay, now we're going to do magenta. Nope, that one bubbled up and got on me. Okay. Interesting. This is a deep magenta. Oh, <laughs> I was screwing it on the wrong way because of all the paint that got on the top. Let me wipe that off real quick. I do like that even though they came in a cardboard box, they came in these little trays that I can stack on each other and set to the side separate from the cardboard box. Um, so I don't have to keep the box, but I can still, you know, deal with it. As for stirring, um, I'll use the same stick for yellows and orange, and I can also use that stick on green if I want. But I won't use that stick in a pink. I'll use either a blue or a red. And I actually skipped red. So we'll have to go back to that. <laughs> so I use save sticks when I can. But sometimes you just can't help it. Straight the edges. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way enough so that you can see, <laughs> but not too much so that it's an issue. It makes it harder on me. Okay. Now I get the, can you chill out a little? She's in a good mood tonight. My hands are going to be so exhausted from mixing. I feel like I've been doing that all day. I actually love this color. And I'm not a pink fan. Oh, that was perfect. There is a glob, though. That's a perfect consistency. I love that. slide that over a little because we're going to put a red there. This is Brilliant Red. After several more of these, I'm going to end up having to grab another bottle of Floetrol. I'm almost on the bottom of this bottle, which is probably why I've been getting a few goops. Plus, our temperatures have been really weird, so I think it's dealing with that as well. We went from 27 and 32 up to 65 some days. And it'll be 65 or 70, and then at night it'll hit 30, so we've had some weird temperatures. Consistency. I'm just going all around it, making sure there's no globs in it. Okay, really good consistency. I'm pretty happy with that. The red beside the orange. 
I'm going to skip this light pink because I'm not wanting to make any of it. And we're going to, this says purple, but it really looks pink to me. But maybe it's just me. Maybe it's my eyes. It looks pink. Okay. So the color on the thing looks pink, but it's definitely a purple. So maybe the printing just didn't work out. Which we had that happen on one of the blues earlier. The uh, Prussian blue. Um, it didn't mix as dark as the color, and I assumed that it was because 